Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm coming to you with another energy forecast and um, I had promised to come to you before the uh, the new year but um, the energies were uh, all over the place and I couldn't quite put a finger on it. So when I deliver an energy forecast to you, what I'm actually hoping to do is um, round up uh, the energy or like kind of make a summary of what the energy is but if the energy is applying to every one of you differently and if you're not experiencing the same then uh then it's not really uh it's kind of pointless for me to deliver an energy forecast so that's the reason i hadn't come to you uh at the end of uh december and um i also want to say that a lot of you what, what i did feel though was that a lot of you were still working on stuff in December and you hadn't really had a break like it was still you were still having a lot to deal with you were still feeling like you were in the same funk that you were before or things that may have been um, that you may have thought you've dealt with had come up again so uh, whereas the period of December was supposed to be a kind of reprieve from what had occurred between March and, and November uh, a lot of you would have felt like a lot like it had come to her head and that it was actually uh, kind of working against you in some way. You might have felt desperate at certain points. You might have felt uncertain about where you're going to and what to expect. And uh, you might have uh, had a lot of doubt during this time. So this is um, one of the energies, uh, you know, with others of you who have actually managed to do what you needed to do in preparation for what was to come. Uh, that is that you work through the uh, March to November energies uh, really well and you know you'd learned lessons and you were open and willing to uh, let the change take place in your life. Uh, that December wouldn't have been so hard but what you might have experienced is that December came to you with a certain degree of um, um, like a kind of rush of energy where you needed to deal with things that were uh, as old as two years ago or maybe even up to four years for some of you but I feel for most of you it would have been uh, like two years worth of, of things that needed it had come to a, to a head and that is what we're experiencing right now as I release this video so this is the kind of thing that we are having right now where we are working with energies from two years ago and it's all coming to a kind of heightened fold and an end in a way so uh, you might have heard me say that come January we have a whole new energy and that's uh, what I want to talk to you about here so what we are dealing with is a sense that um, the old cannot uh, continue and that change is needed like great change is needed and I think that many of you will spend the next few months um, perhaps between January of 2000 and um, eight, um, sorry January of 2019 till um, about May May or so really thinking about where is it that you want to go to and what is it that you want from this life and what is it that is um, uh, is actually where, where you're being drawn to where are you headed to where is what is your soul trying to tease you towards and um, it's as if the like you a lot of you have well there like about 10 percent or so of you probably have a very clear focus and you know where you're headed to and you know what you want and you're going ahead with it but the many of you are in a transitional space right now many of you are in limbo many of you don't know where you'll be living in the future you don't know what direction you want to, to really take you don't know whether your careers are actually um, in the in the direction that you want to work in you you're not really sure about these things and I feel that the next few months will be a lot of thinking about that it'll be a lot of thinking about where are you headed and am I taking the steps to actually get there and also a clarification about what it is that you truly want what is it that you truly dream of where have you forsaked your dreams where have you given up on what you truly desire and for those of you who are not even in touch anymore with what you truly desire or what you what you've dreamt of it's actually about working inward going inward and actually moving in yourself to a space where you can uncover all the gunk that's uh, covered you over the years and come back to that part of you which is able to dream again and able to desire and has the uh, 
the, the fire burning in you where you want to create something you want to do something with this life so the next few months is very much about you bringing your life into focus in this way but i don't see you actually taking action i see you thinking about it more contemplating researching the direction in which you're going to and um for some of you, as I mentioned, this has to do with moving your home, moving your country, moving your work, uh, deciding upon what type of work you want to do, becoming true to who you are and what you truly want to do. And um, I feel that this is like the major energy for many of you. For those of you who are settled and have a direction in front of you, you may be beginning new studies, you may be beginning uh, a new path, a new project. Uh, there are there is a sense of new beginnings, a new energy that's been ushered through because what we've been dealing with in the last few years is we've actually been working towards a sense of trying to create um, new, new um, a new being and that's required healing. And so what you've experienced in the in the in the last um, four to five years, I would say, is actually bringing up a lot of the pain, bringing up a lot of the dif difficulties that you have in order to be able to see where is it that you need the healing, where is it that you need to work on yourself in order for you to come into this new beginning and to usher in this new beginning. And I feel that um, for many of you, you may still be in that and you're still trying to figure it out, but that don't worry, it's okay. This period is for that. This period is for figuring out where is it that you want to go to, what is it that you want to do exactly with your life and asking yourself whether the life that you have at this moment is okay the way it is. Is it okay to continue living the way you're living right now? Is it okay to accept this comfort zone that you're in? Or if for those of you who are in comfort zones, for is it okay to accept this? Is it okay to continue another day doing this? Or is there something more out there? And then for those of you who are feeling exactly that, you know, it's also about asking yourself, well, uh, where am I stopping myself from moving ahead? Where am I not able to feel the full gratitude of this life and feel what all the things I need to be grateful for, all the things that are here, that I have at my disposal so that I can create exactly what I desire and what I want in my life. So that is the uh, the direction in which we're moving towards now. And those are the questions that are going to be asked. And there are some of you who will ask these questions and not take any action at all and not change anything at all in the next few months uh, or in the next few years. Uh, and that's also okay, you know, it's it's ultimately you are the master of your destiny. You decide what it is that you do with your life and what it is that you don't do with your life. But for those of you, uh, I feel that a lot of you who come to these energy forecasts are actually trying to work with your lives and trying to uh, move towards something that's better. And that that's the reason you end off listening to a video like this. And that's why I'm speaking to you as if for, for you to grow, for you to come to that change that you your soul desires, to come to that clarity that you've come to. Why have you come here? What are you doing here? And are you feeling the joy and the bliss and the gratitude and the absolute utter bliss that you ought to be feeling when you're on this planet? And if not, then how is it that we go about figuring that out? And all these energies that are coming to the fore right now, every single thing, brings you to that point where you need to ask that question, where you need to be able to figure that out. You may be feeling like you've been in a funk or that things haven't been working out in the last few weeks. Take heed. It is going to be better. It is going to work out. It's like that's January's energy. And I feel that um, it perhaps has something to do with the eclipses, etc. But uh, there's a lot going on. It's like it's been... Um, like the drums, you know, it's been drumming up since December for this, for this, you know, this new beginning, this crescendo that we're working towards. So yes, a lot of you are going to feel the energies quite intensely. Uh, and for those of you who are not feeling it intensely uh, in, in terms of a fiery energy, you're going to be feeling quite depressed. Actually, you're going to be feeling quite down with yourself because you're not able to express this fire. You're not able to bring it out of yourself. You're not able to actually let go and truly feel what you need to feel, you know. And so that's the other point, like at which point are we uh, holding ourselves back from truly enjoying? At which point are we hearing what others say that we should be or should do and doing that? At which point are we um, bending over to uh, what we expected to do 
but not actually doing what it is that we really truly desire and come it's all about that you know it's all about um coming to that point of your passion understanding what your passion is and moving ahead with that and uh, the other energies on a more base level um, on a more practical level on a more earthly level one needs to be aware of uh, difficulties that one may encounter you know it might may, may have begun already uh, by the end of December but I feel like the last week uh, and the weeks ahead the next two weeks be aware be extra cautious um, they are bound to be accidents they are bound to be uh, uh, car accidents uh, accidents at home um, things that you, you just need to be extra cautious at this moment and the reason that these things come to pass is not because it's fated or because it's actually uh, going to happen it's meant to happen it's not like that okay it, it's happening because you've lost your groundedness it's because you've lost you you are grappling with these other energies right now and you're not feeling centered and grounded and clear And so if you can take away the funk, take away the uh, brain fog, uh, so to say, take away the spiritual fog that you have, clear that and actually come to a space of understanding and truth within yourself about what it is that you actually desire, but also about just bring yourself to a grounded state every day, um, ensuring that you come to that space within yourself, which is rooted to the earth. And when you are able to do that, then these accidents won't uh, occur that easily. These accidents may occur if you are not grounded, if you're not in a clear space within yourself, and if you're giving into this en energy, if you're actually um, allowing this energy to take a hold of you. And this is a very scattered energy, so it's you know it's scattering you around, making you feel un at uh, at not at ease, and and making you. Un feel uncertain about what it is that you want and making you doubt yourself and making you feel depressed actually for some of you who are prone to depression and to feeling sadness and um, to who are impacted by the, the weather etc so you will be feeling that more intensely at the moment but there isn't a need to feel that way in fact the only thing that you need to feel is reconnecting to yourself and what it is that you truly desire so that you could put the plans put plans into play, place or take so that you can take action later on so that you can actually create the life that you are, that you desire and where it is that you actually want to go to so um i'm not going to talk a little, any more about the energy because i feel that uh, i can describe it um viscerally and it will be just uh sad or devastating for you to hear i think just go with where you're at right now and uh it will be different for every one of you okay it's always going to be different for every single one of you and uh because you're unique you know and uh, you're not a clone of one of another so don't expect it to be the same to be impacting you in the same way that it impacts other people um and don't look for the solutions that that you think will work for others because that solution that works for you is unique to you okay so uh, i'm gonna stop there and i'm gonna wish you well uh for those of you who haven't seen my new year greeting over the um uh, community um, panel of the YouTube uh, well then I know it's the middle of January but uh, happy new year and I'm wishing you a fantastic uh, 2019 and uh, I do hope that everything works out well in your life in exactly the way you are you want it to work out and I also hope that you gain the clarity that you desire and that you you need in your life in order to be able to make the decisions that are vital for your life in the next few years okay so um i'm wishing you all the best and blessings abound from kismet rising